Hi, I'm Veronica from Ocean Protocol, and today I'm going to teach you some Web3 basics so that you can get started minting NFTs on the Ocean Market. When you publish your data sets and algorithms on the Ocean Market, not only are you minting an NFT at that time, but you're also creating a data token and a DID. What's the difference between a data NFT and a data token? Well, the data NFT contains the downloadable file for the data set or algorithm which you publish to the ocean market. Think of it like a house, a house that contains your data set or algorithm, and the data token is a key to the house or a gate that controls access to that downloadable file. When you purchase a data token on the ocean market, what you're getting is actually access to that downloadable file, where once you buy the data token, you can download it. On the published page of the ocean market, you can see that you can attach metadata to your data NFT. Metadata can include a title, a description, price, and other distinguishing characteristics. On the access tab, you'll see the data token. Again, this is what's going to be for sale after we publish the ocean asset. And on the submit tab, you'll see the two transactions that need to be created. And in between, we are constructing and encrypting a DDO. Now, a DDO and a DID have to do with metadata. So what do those mean? A decentralized identifier, or DID, is a unique string of characters and numbers that identifies your data NFT. This points to a DDO. A DDO is a decentralized identifier document which contains the metadata for your data NFT. Once we publish an asset to the ocean market, we're creating a data NFT, a data token, and this DDO that contains the metadata all in one fell swoop. In fact, when you mint that NFT, you get the DID and the DID can be passed to a resolver to fetch that metadata, that DDO. If you enjoyed what you saw, click that subscribe button and make sure to check out market.oceanprotocol.com to start publishing your data sets and algorithms as assets that you can sell on the blockchain.